Before listing this Canon AE-1 35mm film SLR camera for sale, I thought I would just run it through some tests here on video so we can see how it works. It has the Canon front cap, a screwed in uh, filter in the front of the lens. It's a 1A filter, 52mm diameter. And the camera is equipped with the uh, FD 50mm f1.8 lens. It's the newer style with the button here on the side so it is actually more like a bayonet mount and the button does pop out like it's supposed to to lock it in place and uh, I thought if we just run this through a bunch of shutter speeds here starting at a thousandth of a second and five hundredth and two fiftieth 1 one twenty fifth, one sixtieth, one thirtieth, one fifteenth, one eighth, one fourth, one half, and one full second. And this camera even has a full two seconds. And then there's the bulb setting, in which case the uh, uh, aperture stays uh, stopped down and the shutter stays open as long as I hold it down. And I'm going to get this light in here so we can just look in the front of the lens and see that see there the lens is uh, stopped down to the full f22 and then that uh, opens up and if I take the lens off we can look here and see there we're seeing all the way through the shutter to the pressure plate inside the camera the lens is up against this foam that foam actually looks in very nice condition by the way and the mirror drops back down the mechanism seems to work just right So, uh, as we put the lens back on, turn it to the right, and if we go around the back here now, and pull up on the rewind crank, crank's in nice condition by the way, it's a nice metal crank, and that opens the back up, and so here we can see the shutter, it's a cloth shutter, and we can see the curtain moves aside and back very quickly. The uh, film transport section here looks very nice. Moving along here to the pressure plate, uh, this looks really good. Uh, if we look at the light seal material back here, mm, I feel a little sticky residue along here and oh, up here too. Uh, this foam in here feels just a little bit sticky. Uh, I would say the light seals are probably still functional and I can see down in the channel here but it certainly is printing off onto these door edges so at some point you're going to want that replaced you don't want any gummy stuff to get up into the film path here uh, probably would work fine but I would recommend replacing those and that is a routine type of service that needs to be done on a camera like this, as old as this is. The AE-1 was issued originally in 1976, so this camera is on the order of 40 years old. Um, it is a, actually quite a nice example of it. As we just look around here, I see a serial number 5548821. Still has the past sticker on there. I don't see any dents or damage here. Just a few minor little scuffs there. Uh, looking at the back, that looks really nice. Um, there's usually wear on this hinge that's not much there. There's a little bit of wear here um, right in, in that corner and a little bit on the paint there. Looking on the bottom, unfortunately somebody scratched some sort of ID number in this place right here. And that seems to be the only intentional damage of the camera. The bottom plate is quite nice. Um, there isn't the usual 
dinging all around the uh, tripod socket. There's a couple of little scratches and things there, but it doesn't look like it was used on a tripod much, if at all. So it's actually a very nice example of this camera. Um, the battery door, if we open that very carefully, and you got to do that just right. I think there was a little tool that came that you could use to get that open. I'm usually able to just do it very carefully with a fingernail there. And we can see that the latch is good. I had put a battery in there just for the purposes of testing. The battery does not come with the camera, but uh, if we look here, the door is in good condition. Uh, the spring is still working. It latches properly, and now, now that I'm able to do this more carefully, can actually get that open. It's got the little latch there, so snaps closed. The uh, camera has a Canon strap with it. It's Canon branded there. And this one does also feature a stop-down preview and we can see right here that it actually locks in place. So, all in all, a very nice example of the Canon AE-1 35mm SLR camera. I, I should have done one more little test here and just verified here for you that the the uh, self timer works and so I'm going to do that and what we can see here now the little red light blinking right there and then it will go off pretty soon so we verified that that works so nice example of the AE-1 equipped with original lens cap and strap and uh, Except for light seals that will need some work eventually, it should be ready to take pictures.